Born in 1854, Lillian Thomas Fox learned to read and write when she was very young. She moved to Indianapolis with her mother in the 1880s so she could study the art of public speaking. She became well known in Indianapolis as a speaker and journalist. Lillian Thomas Fox was an assistant editor for the Indianapolis Freeman, one of the nation's most popular black newspapers. In 1900, she started writing for the Indianapolis News. She was the first black journalist in Indiana to write on a regular basis for a white newspaper. For 14 years, her weekly column, News of the Colored Folk, covered events and happenings in the black community. Lillian Thomas Fox was also an activist and civic leader. She organized the Indiana State Federation of Colored Women's Clubs. She also started the Women's Improvement Club so black women could discuss literature, support one another, and become more involved in community service, including World War I efforts. The Women's Improvement Club even established Oak Hill Camp, located in the Brightwood neighborhood of Indianapolis. This camp allowed black tuberculosis patients to get fresh air and treatment. By 1914, her eyesight began to fail and she had to stop writing. Lillian Thomas Fox died on August 29, 1917. She is buried in a quiet corner of Crown Hill Cemetery, marked by a simple stone paid for by the State Federation of Colored Women's Clubs. When she passed away, the Indianapolis Freeman said this, Lillian Thomas Fox worked tirelessly to ensure African-American community survival and to end Jim Crow segregation. She was an original thinker and one who dared to flout the dogma, be it ever so popular, which do not consist with her cardinal principles of justice and right. Headstrong is made possible through the generous support of PNC Bank and a grant from American Experience.